Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 11. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, we're here at the uh, Club Mustang event. We got uh, Road Atlanta, Laguna Seca, Road America, and Silverstone. We gotta take the horrible Mustang boss. All right. Top of the morning. All right, <laughs> attempt number two. Time to drive the electric Mustang because there's no engine noise for this thing. <laughs> oh, this car is disgusting on so many levels. I mean, I already had hatred for this car because this car has just been awful to drive in, like, every single video game that's ever existed. But it's made even worse by the fact that it is now electric. So, you basically cannot hear this engine noise at all because the game's bugged. They didn't make any patches for it, so it was just bugged. I can't believe this got past, like... Quality control or whatever they call it in the video game. I, I know it's game testing, but like there's a point where games work. How, how do you miss this? I mean, you add cars, you make sure they all work. Oh, this is not going to be ideal. So basically, all that's going to happen in this entire championship is everyone's just going to hear loud music. <laughs> Whether you're on YouTube or Twitch, you're just listening to loud music. I still can't hear anything except tire noise. Loki's just behind me there. Not bad, not bad. That saline is so quick behind. I better hope that some of these tracks I haven't got super long straights, otherwise we're done for. Alright, not bad, not bad. We got this. Oh, I love the sound of electric motors. It does sound like an electric car! Mate, Forza were practicing electric engines before electric engines were properly a thing. Actually, when did the G-Wiz come out? Was that in the 90s or the 2000s? I want to say it was like early 2000s. In which case, the G-Wiz would have existed by the time this game came out anyways, but... Yeah, we 100% need to make the G-Wiz, but actually make it, like, Tesla quality. Not Tesla build quality, but, like, in terms of their, how long the batteries last and fancy tech. Basically, stick some Tesla batteries and a Tesla touchscreen in a G-Wiz. See what happens. Is 
Not bad. I think we got enough of a distance anyways. Obviously, the saline's going to catch up. Because it's got a much higher performance. There we go. Done. I forgot to save replay though. Alright, let's get going. Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Does NASCAR actually come here? To Laguna Seca? I'm not 100% sure. I'm watching through all of the NASCAR races from uh, 2021 at the moment. I find it extremely entertaining to watch. See, the thing is, right, Formula One's gotten boring for me. Not because of the fact that I'm bored of motor racing or stuff like that. It's just Formula One itself has been too scripted the past few years. The fact is, the way that the that Formula One is, is not a driver's sport. It's not based off of skill. You don't see people fighting... Majority of the years, it's just been based on who has the most powerful car. And sure, this year it's changed it up quite a lot. But this year being 2022, if you're watching this in the future on YouTube. <laughs> um, but yeah, it mixes it up a lot. But the problem is... It's just, it's always, for the past six, seven years, it's just been about who's got the fastest car, not about a driver. Not, there's no battles, there's no... So when it comes to sitting down and watching stuff like NASCAR, for someone who doesn't watch, all the cars are similar. And when I watch British Touring Car, all the cars are pretty much similar. It's all about down to skill. You see a different winner every race. You've got all sorts of action happening. People passing each other. NASCAR's the same. And as much as I shat on NASCAR for years saying, oh, it's just the drivers aren't that skilled. I mean, yeah, sure. It, obviously, it's physically demanding. Similar to Formula 1. Because you're going round and you're pulling those G-forces but for a lot longer. But the thing is... Oh, shit. Oi, sailing, get back. I'm having a conversation. It just... It's not as exciting. But NASCAR just has that excitement factor. There's constant changing of position. You see people going backwards, forwards. You see... Pit crews working hard. And it can even go down to the final lap. I mean, the last time there was a final lap battle, we're not even going to discuss the end of the 2021 season. That wasn't a battle. That was just fully scripted. But when do you really see a final lap battle happening in Formula 1? Oi! What's this AI car doing? Oh my god. Car did some crabbing then. And I think the only time probably would have been Science back in Ferrari in 2020. Around Monza. I'd say that was the last time we saw a proper last lap battle. That actually lasted for a substantial amount of time. That's why I'm into NASCAR now. Yo Viper, what's up? Welcome. How are you today? What is that emote? <laughs> oh, this saline is right on my ass and I really don't like it. This is why I hate this Mustang. It's just so crap. It doesn't even have engine noise. Such a weird car. How are you doing today though, Viper? Hopefully you're having a good day. 
be there for, be there for. Okay, we got distance. We have some safety. With a question mark. Because we're close to losing that safety. If that car catches up anymore, I think we're good. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I think we got this. There we go. Winner, five minutes, two seconds. And we're going to take that. 13 grand. Not bad. All right, let's go for another attempt because uh, the AI car, aka the saline, absolutely bloody hates me. I might just have to look at getting the saline, to be honest. Yeah, you go off. You get off the track. Asshole. Honestly, that guy pushed me off the track. So if it comes to dirty tactics, I will do dirty tactics to get the win. I don't even care if penalties happen and shit like that. Sod it. I'm getting the win. Fire, fire. Oh my god, I've gone wide. Oh no. Where the hell did the front grip go? Holy crap. This is concentration face. <laughs> ha ha. I mean, to be fair, the AI is aggressive in this game, sure. At least it's a little bit better than some of the AI in other Forza games. Actually, to be honest, I don't... This is probably the worst AI anyways that Falls has ever had. Right, I've got him around the track once. This is the third time, actually, that I've gone around this circuit. Because technically we did the race before. And they dumped me on the final corner. So now I'm hoping we'll be fine. Yeah, we're not fine. Oh my god. God! Saline's getting aggressive. He's trying to catch up and overtake. He's messed up, though. We've got so much better acceleration. We just... Don't have the top speed or the handling. Okay, we still have the edge. Still have the edge. We just have to make sure we go flat out on this uh, kink in on the straight. Ah, uh, I don't like that. Oh, he's going to be getting closer. 
Oh my god. There's a reason why I hate this car in this event. This is why. Oh, he's actually caught up. I don't like this. What is that sleep stream? Holy! Ah, I'm trying to defend. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's the worst race I've ever had. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> we got the win. But oh my god, that was bad. Oh, we got level 22. Fuel and ignition, 50% off. All right, let's do this. I think this is the last event of the third episode recorded today. I don't know, maybe second. It's the last event of my recording session, that's for sure. So the only time you can ever hear the engine noise in this car is when you're revving the absolute ass off of it. Chum. There you go. You're in the red line, you can hear the engine. And then you change gear, it's gone again. There we go. Come on, we got this. I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of copyright claim things to go through. When I sort out the music for this video. Because even though I own the licenses, I still get copyright claims. And I have to then release the claims with my license. Problem is... Every single one's going to get picked up because there's no audio whatsoever. Not just a couple of them, like what normally happens with copyright claims. Oh, this is a good one. I think this song's actually with Sub Focus, if I'm not mistaken. We gotta recombine. Hmm. There we go. Not a bad lap. Let's see how lap number two goes. I've only got four gears. That sucks. That's not good. I want to recombine. The input lag for this game is horrendous, by the way. I think because it is emulated, it's probably why. But it is horrendous. Oh my god. Come on, we got this. Ah, uh, not bad. There we go.
yeah, after this race, I'm going to uh, end the live stream. Because we'll be done with this championship. Want to recombine. There you go. Coming up to the finish line. Winner. 414. We got some money. Let's see what car we got as well. Hopefully it's a good one. It's the Saline. The one that we were racing against. Charming. Okay, so we're going to do the heavyweight challenge. And um, I've said fuck it. Because uh, we're taking a Ferrari. You've probably seen it in thumbnail already. Uh, so we've got uh, Sunset Peninsula Speedway, Infield, Maple Valley, and Blue Mountains Raceway. Let's get cracking. All right, Ferrari showdown. Oh, that's a beautiful engine noise. It's got a quick 0 to 60 as well. How is that car going quicker? Oh, we got the Merc behind as well. Great. Kind of forgot about the Merc. There we go. We are flying right now. 180 miles an hour. I think this is the fastest we've gone in this uh, playthrough so far. Which is not bad. And this is only the third recording session as well. We're already in a Ferrari. But, technically speaking, this is like 8 hours of gameplay. And we've only got a... Uh, Low-end Ferrari. It's obviously a quick Ferrari still. But it's not the top tier of cars, so... For about eight, nine hours? Not bad for progression-wise. It definitely spaced the game fairly well. I think the best progression so far is easily Forza Motorsport 4. The season mode is brilliant, because you just... You get a variety of everything. And then you can go into events. Which, for me as a completionist, I prefer just an event list that I can do. Because it's just easier to look at. So that's what I'm going to do. We're not going to do, like, season play or anything like that. Disco tech. mm <laughs> On a discotheque. <laughs> holding me uh see e e holding me higher. It's a tune. Not bad. Two thirty seven. Uh we got twelve and a half grand for that one. Okay, here we go. Race number two. Not bad. Not bad. I do remember actually doing this event with the uh, Bentley Continental. I didn't realise it was that early on that we did those ones though. But then again, the majority of the events that we did in this game were probably like... We probably did like 50% of the events in the first 20 episodes on my first playthrough. And then the other 60 was just like... Races 1 to 4, 5 to 7. And they were all just one championship split into two videos because, I mean, it was the easiest way to do it. Because they were so long. What in the hell was that? I just felt an extremely loud noise through my feet. On a discotheque.
Not bad. So the funny thing is, right, this Ferrari wasn't really wasn't really that common as a Ferrari. I don't know. Didn't really see it much. It's a beautiful car nonetheless. I'm so, I mean, I enjoy Ferraris. I think they are beautiful pieces of art. I always have done. But I hate Ferrari and who they are. Because they are a company that hates... They hate their customers. They hate anything... Normal customers. And even the company see, like Enzo Ferrari said, he hates customers. Which makes sense, but... Like, the entire principle of Ferrari is, oh, we've got these beautiful pieces of art. You pay us a shit ton of money more than our competitors even offer. Oh, you want to buy a 90 grand Porsche? Here, how about buying a 270 grand Ferrari? The only catch is you buy our Ferrari for three times more than Porsche would offer their supercar for. You're not allowed to touch the car. You can drive it. You can look at it. But you cannot upgrade it or modify it. Like, come on, you buy a car because you can do what you want with the car. Ferrari doesn't seem to understand that, though. Hell, I've seen people who have made Liberty War body kits of Ferraris and they've sent cease and desist letters to remove TikTok content of their own car that they upgraded themselves with their own money. Like... <laughs> That's why I just hate Ferrari as a company. Fuck Ferrari. But they do make some masterpieces. The only way I would take that statement back as well is if Ferrari gave me a free Ferrari. Well, what's the chance of that? Slim to none. Oh. Now that's how it's done. <laughs> Use your car as a barrier. I don't know how I hit the inside wall there, but we did. <laughs> Need to make sure I don't do that again. That will not end well. Well, as long as it's not on a different corner, then we should be fine. We're looking good. We're looking good. Getting around that final corner. Yeah. There we go. Done. I saved that replay. Let's get one from Sunset Peninsula for this one. Okay. Maple syrup. That is 100% what we're calling this track now. It's going to be known as maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Hiding away. Come on, come on. The Ferrari got the power. I'm surprised that this car is actually classed as a heavyweight. 
like, I would expect the Ferrari to not be that heavy. Like, there are cars that are clearly lighter than this, but they're... I don't know. Oh, nearly lost it there. Uh, yes, we've lost it. Still in the lead, though. So, uh, not too bad. Not great, obviously, but not too bad. Bram, 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 bram. So I'm going to have fun tomorrow morning editing all of these. I've got to uh, go get on to uh, liquidity about the uh, copyright claims that I've got on episodes 1 to 4 at the moment. Because uh, episode 1 is supposed to go out in... What day is it today? The 11th. In five days. That's the plan, and that's my deadline, and I'm going to upload the video then. But I've said that if I can't get those videos authorized by Thursday, then I'm going to have to re-edit the videos on Friday to upload them for Saturday. Shouldn't take too long, i just got to change the music, but I'd have to change it for everything, and then I... I would end up cancelling my liquidity thing because it's. I think it was Tuesday last week. I, c I can't remember what day it was last week. I think it would have been Tuesday last week. I started editing and uploaded it to YouTube. So. I need my copyright free. There we go. 326. Not bad. Not bad at all. 12 grand. Let's get going. We got this. We got this. Oh. I have high hopes for this song. This this has an atmosphere. It's called Rise. Ooh. Rise by Culture Shop. Alright, not bad. We got this. The fat Ferrari is coming through. Oh, there's another fat Ferrari coming through and it's coming on the inside. Uh. To be fair, they haven't done a bad job in this game actually making a fake copy of Mount Panorama because this, this track has a lot of similarities to Mount Panorama without being Mount Panorama and being its own thing. My only problem is it's still a shit track. Same with Mount Panorama. Sorry anyone who's Australian. It is shit. I'm sorry. There are better racetracks out there than Mount Panorama. It's just more beautiful than anything. Because it's just a cool looking track. It's not actually good.
You're on a good track. Something like Knock Hill is your kind of... That track. Right? It's not in the most beautiful setting. But by God, that track is a challenge. There we go. Not bad. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Two seconds. <laughs> this is a this tune slaps. This is why I love Culture Shock. I didn't even realize Culture Shock had released an album. Because I had seen all the, all his singles had come out, and I was like, ah, he's releasing singles. He must be uh, getting close to a album soon. And he released what over the span of two years, released about five songs, which I mean is pretty mediocre amounts of songs for two years. But then an album came out. I was like, what? Well, it was like that last night. Majority of these songs I ain't heard anyway. This one I especially ain't heard of. This is a EP that I didn't even know exists. Existed. Exist? Ugh. I can't speak. This is 100% going to be my last race. <laughs> for today's uh, session. Not bad. That's it. 431. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.